guys, Matt, welcome back to the shop, and today we're talking about cush drives, which is what this fucker is in here, this rubber, let's see if I can get one out, this rubber jobby, got a break, I hate when they break, um, wow, well, fuck it, believe in there, it's got the little pin that it sits in. So basically what this is a cush drive, what the fuck is a cush drive, these are basically just rubber mounts, so in a sense, in the side, inside your wheel you have these spokes in your uh, centre hub. And then what you do is on your uh, sprocket carrier, which is this thing here, which is where we had our malfunction with our bearing and our seal, um, this thing sits in here, these dogs here interlock with these. Why the fucking hell do we have these? But basically what's happening is, is when you let your clutch out, this hub carrier rotates, so it all of a sudden just goes fucking hi like that, and when it goes like that, this is in a sense like a hammer and anvil in an impact gun. So it goes bang, bang, you know, it's, it's not repeating, but it's a bang. And if you bang that, it'll cause your wheel to slip, uh, which is bad, but it's also the um, effect that it has on your chain and your transmission. It's shock loading, basically. So what these are for is these are basically to soften, to blow, to dampen. That's what these are. These are dampeners. They soften the blow so the torque can ramp up a bit more gradually than instead of a sudden impact. If you had a sudden impact, eventually you'd fuck these dogs and you'd fuck these webs in here. Um, they would be different, obviously they wouldn't be this thin if you didn't have the cush drive. But cush drives are there basically to stop this shock loading. Um, because that shock loading, your wheel will resist wanting to turn and that shock loading will basically travel backwards through your sprocket through your chains which will fuck them over time and also your transmission all the way up to your clutch see your clutch is allowed to slip and these in the center are allowed to crush um, why is it called a cush drive because it's a cushion drive um, it just takes out all the severities and stops you fucking your chain your sprockets and your gearbox um, these can perish rip apart and you'll notice you'll be really jerky your wheels start to go out, could go out of alignment. Um, your chain slack goes all funky if these start to fuck up, because your wheel and your, well, your sprocket carrier can now move as well, so your chain will go slack or tight. So if you have a, a slack chain problem all of a sudden, don't just think, ah, well, yeah, the chain's 25,000 miles old, I might as well change it. Take all this shit off. You should anyway to change your sprockets, but check the condition of your cush drive. You can see some nibbling and stuff on this. This isn't fucked. Um, the rubbers are in good nick and you're looking for the inside faces and just how it generally looks. These are really cheap. I think these are, I think they're four or five quid each for the Suzuki for an OEM part for how big they are. That's actually not really that bad. Um, these are fine for me now. Um, people try to shim them and stuff. Just fucking leave them alone. Um, you know, why be a moron about it? Any road, so what we're going to do is we are going to, um, right, let's just stop fucking yapping and let's get cracking. <laughs> 